So I'm Anthony Conrad, uh, owner, proprietor, Waterman Conrad's Crabs and Seafood Market, Conrad's Crab Seafood Restaurant, Conrad's Fleet LLC, blah, 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 cut. Today what we did is um, we went out in the water and we fished for barrel and blue crabs. We do it utilizing commercial crab pots, which are a 24 inch by 24 inch crab pot made of galvanized metal with bait. Today we use shrimp heads. How we do it is set the pot, bait it, and come back to it a couple days later. We do 24 pots on a line. Each pot will come on the boat, we'll have to up the crabs, throw them back over like I said. Sounds easy, it is, except the fact that each pot costs about $50 rigged out. There's a lot of money that we have in the water right now. Each crab is sorted, and how we do is we'll sort them into uh, categories of ones, twos, threes, and fours. Ones being the crabs that are over six inches and hard, twos being anything that's five and a quarter, which is the legal size of Maryland, to six inches. Threes are the females that are hard, and then the fours are the ones that aren't going over the side of the boat that you'd want to use for you know, picking crabs for soup or crab cakes. What we catch today will actually be able to be uh, sold today to the public, as well as the crabs that are going to the picking house. The crabs that are going to the picking house will be probably steamed up tonight and picked tonight or steamed tomorrow and picked tomorrow, which will be readily available for you guys for you know, fresh melon crab meat and uh, to make it through delicious crab cakes and stuffed rockfish and so on and so forth.